Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. Um, not too much to add, just that we started the day with a bit of selling pressure here. Um, we continue to be in this sort of W, no, in this, yeah, WXY correction here. Remember that my count is uh, the primary count that we rallied off the December low into January with a wave one. We then came down in a wave two, and we explore this currently as another one, two setup as a flat. Um, with an overshooting X wave, and then we're now coming down here sort of in this ABC structure in a wave Y. And I believe this is where it's worth looking at at the moment, because um, we could get one more low and that's it. Um, so we're going to zoom in now. Bear in mind, there are two bullish counts available here. The first one is that this is a one, two setup, and this is another one, two setup, and we could then start off, or that this is just a wave one. This is a W, x y and we might go down a little lower not that low though um in the first scenario with a one two one two setup we need to hold 1778 to keep it a likely option um in the second scenario we need to hold 12 dollars to keep it a likely option the bullish case below 12 dollars there is no hope left i would say you know and probabilities are shifting towards new bear market lows now let's zoom in here into the detail um and if we take a look at the latest structure, you can see we, ver we, we very nicely reacted to the 50% retracement here perfectly at 2150. That was our resistance area. Uh, we are still in resistance, so I cannot rule out another high or another attempt to break, but we are below a trend line. So please be aware of that. Um, we are below resistance. And as long as we are below 2150, we have to assume that we will get another low here. It would just work out best with the subway structure, ideally the $19 level or $17.78 as a target. But be aware that obviously um, you sometimes can get a WXY structure here. So in that way it would already be finished to the downside, but I have no strong evidence at this stage to suggest that. However, a break above 2150, especially if it's an impulsive break and a break obviously above the trend line, which would be the same in this case, most likely um, would indicate that a low has been made. Yeah, So you can also see a possible bearish, um, not bearish, um, descending wedge. They are typically rather bullish patterns. At least they suggest that a reversal to the upside is due because downside momentum is slowing down. So I would say, you know, um, doesn't matter if I put the wedge here or just sort of that trend line is the same thing. If we break above the trend line, it could first of all unlock prices all the way up to 23.30. A break above that would be further conf or further confirmation that indeed we have bottomed already in our trend reversal area here. And then the next resistance point will be around $26. So either way, um, at the moment, movements to the downside look corrective. Yes, we could get one more low. There is no need to get one more low. I think at the moment it is likely I would prefer one more low, um, but it's not guaranteed. And we just need to be watching for this resistance level and a break of the trend line that could then suggest that we have already bottomed. Okay, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.